Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to talk about uniform grid panel and grid panel in detail. So without any further ado, let's begin. So you remember in this playlist of video about UI design in Unreal Engine 5, we create a widget and in our character class we add it to our viewport like this. We create our widget and after that add it to viewport and that's what we've done. And now I want to show you the first this uniform grid panel let's just add one to here and with this uniform grid panel it's like just like two or three or four or how many you want of the horizontal and vertical box together so let me show you if we add a button to this uniform grid panel for example this one and let's just change the size of it in appearances in a style in normal and in here let's just change it the size to 200 and 200 okay and right now because we just have one button in this uniform grid panel if we set the alignment to fill it fill the whole space of our unified grid panel why because at, at right now our uniform grid panel has just one column and one row how so we can create more column and more row and for creating another columns and another rows you can just click on this button and you want to create and create another column for for example and put this button in there so if you click your button and click on this arrow in here now it create two column and one row and again if you click on it and hit this down arrow key in here no our uniform grid panel has two columns and two row again we can just add a button to our grid panel again and let's just change the size of it to 200 and 200 okay or we can just fill it up and you can see we have two column and two row and we can change the position of our button in here and you can see the size of column and row is divided equally between columns and rows but with grid panel we can have column and rows that are not the same size we can specify what is the size of each column and each row so let's just delete this uniform grid panel and add a grid panel to our scene in here okay let's just make it bigger and now that i'm clicking on this you can see that it has fill rules in here let's just collapse everything so you can see it clearly the fill rules and with these fill rules you can tell this grid panel to how many column and row it should have okay for example let's just add two column in here and two row and you can see that there is a value that we can change so with these values we can set the weight of our column and weight so for example let's just put one for all of them right and add a button for example to this grid panel and with this button added you know that when you add a button the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment is at fill so it will fill the column and the row of our grid panel okay so let's just add some other button in here and change its position in our um, grid panel and again add another one again change its position add another one and again change its position and you know you can see that i add four button in this grid panel right and if we change for example this value for column zero that is this one this column to 0.5 now you can see that this column is the size of this column is half of the size of the next column you can see it okay and we can do it for row as well it's just a relative size of columns and rows so for example let's just put 0.5 in here and now you can see the first row the size of the first row the the height of our first row is the half of the height of the next row in here and again if we click on our grid panel and change this um, row number zero in here to two no the first row the height of the first row will be twice the height of the next row and you can see it how it worked that was all that you needed to know about grid panel and uniform grid panel and you can do a lot of cool things with them please if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching bye